submit so that we not only wear mama sweaters, hand knitted sweaters, they had a warm relationship with many common interests besides knitting. Soon after we married in 1981, Fern and I started receiving hints that grandchildren were due. These messages started quite subtly, but by 1984, when I went off to Camberley to attend Staff College, and Fern was a young lawyer working in the city of London, Mama wrote to us to say, I can understand you're waiting a year or even two to run in your marriage, but it really is about time you got on to starting a family. Mama was thrilled with us when she heard news of Fern's pregnancy soon after and proceeded to knit numerous baby booties in anticipation. She knitted baby blue ones, white ones, lemon ones, and peppermint green ones, but no pink ones. She must have been pressing. Our firstborn, Shamu, was a boy, and we still have those booties today. The following year, in 1986, Fern delivered our second baby, yet another boy, Guan. Mama rushed to NUH, obviously thrilled and delighted, declaring, Thank goodness it's a boy. If the baby had been a tiger girl, just think what difficulty we'd have had marrying a tiger girl off. <laughs> third son, Shaul, was born a decade later, and is much younger 